Bemidji State University's 51st annual powwow recently brought together Native American dancers, drummers, students, faculty, and community members to celebrate American Indian culture. Reporter Zariah Simmons has more on this week's Northwoods experience. Bemidji State University has celebrated Native American traditions for 51 years by hosting an annual powwow in the BSU gymnasium. This year marks the second time the event has been held without COVID restrictions, allowing the community to get the full experience. Here at Bemidji State, I guess for us in general, it's a time for us to come together as a community in a place that we don't often feel welcome. So for us, it is a place for us to feel safe and come together and um, share our culture and our music with the wider community here in Bemidji. A lot goes into planning, getting the vendors set up um, to make sure that we can have stuff for sale, um, organizing all the food preparation and stuff for both the dinner we serve for free um, as well as our concessions, making sure we have all the, the dances scheduled and stuff like that and all of our specials that we have. The powwow allows the indigenous communities to build relationships and reconnect. Having all of these tribes and seeing all of our relatives, family members and friends come together to Bemidji State is not only a great way to get together, it helps build intertribal relationships, it helps build relationships outside of the tribe for people uh, just interested in seeing the powwow, but it also helps uh, BSU too by, hey, you know, we're a place that we love to support our indigenous community, being a member myself, it's, it, it's a really great place to be. Cultural event where we get out, meet people, laugh. Talk to old friends we haven't talked to all winter. To be together with people like us, like-minded people willing to explore culture and diversity. The BSU powwow was a place where people in the Bemidji and surrounding communities could learn more about the indigenous culture and heritage. I like it. It just opens the doors, not just for the community in general, but it helps increase the numbers of indigenous students that come here to Bemidji State. And I, for one, feel like it brings a sense of unity within the community and Bemidji Bemidji in general, not only to Bemidji State, but the city of Bemidji, because oftentimes we don't feel welcome. And so this is a place where we can feel welcome, and there's people like us here willing to dance and sing and be part of it, be part of the circle. I think it's a really important and cultural event for everyone to come to, to, to learn more about Anishinaabe, Dakota, indigenous culture, and uh, it's just a great place to be. Reporting in Bemidji with this week's Northwoods Experience, I'm Zariah Simmons, Lakeland News. Bemidji State University's powwow is considered one of the longest running powwows in the Bemidji area. Lakeland News is member supported content. Please consider supporting Lakeland News today.